So we are here in my kitchen now, and this is bitter leaf. This is um, fish, skewer fish, and this is uh, dry black fish in Bavaria, and this is the Anita. <laughs> the stream, the dry, the dry one, and this is uh, little tomatoes and all of this. I've made the the video um is on my youtube if you don't know how come about this it's right there on my video but this is tomatoes i've already dried it, all of them so i just want to add little to it and this is the spices that we are going to be using to mix our meat and our salt is there and our you know this is pepper and this is crayfish and this is uh, pepper so spices. I'm going to be adding little. And this is our salt there. And this is our mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah, mushroom. You see a one pack. And this is scent leaf. This is this one we call it a bam That is what we call it in my own darlings. It's very scent. So most people, when they give birth newly, they use it to make soup and they use it to eat pandediam. It's very good. It makes the woman breast bring, um, you know, uh, breast milk a lot for the baby to feed very well. So, and this is our um, cow meat. This is the skin. And this is the momo. And this is the bone. But it's still cow meat. But the bone, this one has bone. But this is the beef that we'll be using. And this is the fish. And this is the dry meat. And this is the hot pepper. Just one because you know I have this one here already, and this is our you know we'll not forget our crayfish. This is our crayfish. So if there is anything left, I've not introduced yet. So when I'm cooking, you will still see or hear it from me. So guys, I will just wash my meat now, and I will you know when I wash it, then I will when I'm spicing it up, then ow. Take you right back to our kitchen. Thank you. So guys, the, I've washed the meat. It's on the fire, so I've not had any water. So the meat are here. So first, we we'll just add our salt, and we had our, you know, cube mangi. So we are using one and half. That is one, and we are using half. That is. 3 cube. So our cinnamon powder will not forget that. We we'll had it. Aromat, like you all know, it's my favorite. So we had it. So we'll just, you know, we'll just cover it up. We'll allow these spices to. To boil along with it so as the meat to, to make the meat very tasty. So now we we'll just cover it up and I will allow it to boil a little, then I'll add water. Yeah. So our meat has boiled for some time. You see, automatically there is some water has some waters have, have come out from the meat already. So now we we'll just add this our tomatoes I show you earlier. Just add it. So I'll just add some little water here. Double and do like this. So now I will just allow it. <laughs> so I will just allow it to boil. Boil first. So now we had the pepper so spices I show you earlier. I will take from it just a little pinch like this. I will just add. Then I will add our. So I will not remove the you know this thing so that it will not get. Uh, maybe I will remove this one. I will just remove this one. That so will not get scattered. So I'll add all of this. So now we're just going to cover it up. 
so while that is boiling we will not we will pick our leaf we'll pick our leaf and we'll i will blend it with the bitter leaf i will just blend and i will bring you right back so it's like this we do like this you take another one you do like this you take like this you pick it that is it so all the scent leaves are Scent leave has been picked, so I just want to wash it. You have to put a lot of water inside it because we don't need the sand inside. We wash it very well. Now I'm going to blend it with that uh, bitter leaf. So that is that. Let me wash it very well. So let's turn this one and see how he's doing. How he's doing. How he's doing. doing. Oh, we don't want our pomo to be too soft. Eh? We don't want our pomo to be too soft. So. I will just blend the leaf now and put inside. So let's go and blend that. So no time to waste as I'm blending it. I will just be turning it inside. So I'm blending, I'm turning. So I'm going to blend it twice. So the this pepper we blend along with it. So, and it's very easy. This is the second batch, guys. And it's very easy to blend. Very, very easy to blend. All you have to do is to put a, a, a lot of water inside the blender. So, cover it up. And now, next, we are going to cut our mushroom into pieces and wash it. So, it's time for that. Okay, see how our soup is doing. Wow! So this is our mushroom. I have washed it and sliced it. So we we'll just add it inside. And now we are going to add our um, what is it called? Uh, crayfish. Crayfish. <laughs> crayfish is is escaping me. So we'll add that. And we'll add our pepper. Pepper. We'll add our pepper just like that. So and we'll stir together. Just stir wow. Oh, our soup is doing well. So we'll allow it to boil. And we'll taste for salt later. Remember, we have not had our fish. The only thing left now is fish. So I hope nobody will say I did not see how you prepared this. So I show you guys everything because the banga soup and the bitter leaf I make earlier. That's how people were embossing me. We like the food, but we didn't see how you didn't show us everything. So now I'm taking my time to prepare this and i hope you people are going to give me kudos <laughs> so that uh, uh mushroom mushroom i don't know this one maybe some people don't know how how it come about those days we used to pick it inside the bush all those big big wood that will fall on the floor in the bush or inside the farm so we'll just um uh, Go to the bush we pick it because after it has been a long time on the floor you'll see some grasses we we'll just allow this food to done while we continue the story so you see some uh, after when the wood is in the bush on the floor so you see some uh, grass growing from the from the wood inside the bush then you see this mushroom we used to call it a two in my old darling so those days we used to go to the farm we pick it from the from the bush we pick it and we 
we we take it home and we use it to cook. But this one in Europe, I don't know how they how they how they where they got it from. Maybe inside the bush as well, you know. Yeah, I've never been <laughs> I've never been to the bush or to the farm. So, but this one I got from the supermarket and I use it in my previous food and it was looking nice. So let's allow this food to boil a little and we'll add our fish because we don't, I don't want to add this on time because some of them will get scattered. So now we'll just allow our food to, our soup to boil and I will test for salt and I will add our fish. So, and it's a wrap, it's a wrap for this video. <laughs> You can see the way the soup is bubbling. It's bubbling. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. So guys, let me taste for salt. So I have taste for salt. We need we need more salt. I'll add a little pinch. And I'll add one star mangling to it. Just one like so. Yeah, and I'll just add the remaining crayfish. I didn't add all of them before. And I'll just add the remaining pepper. It's so spicy. Not, not all. <laughs> not all, guys. <laughs> it will be too much. So now we'll just add the fish. It's time for us to add the fish. We're going to add everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything, guys. Yeah, so now we just have to turn it together. You know, we have to be careful while turning it now, now that there is fish. So, guys, so we we'll allow it to done now, we we'll cover it up. Yeah. So this is our soup guys, you can see it's ready, it's very very ready now, our soup is, is fine and it's doing well, so I have taste for salt and it's very sweet, imagine, imagine you eat this with starch, you eat it with pandedium, this goes for all of them, even for white rice. You can eat it with white rice, you can eat with it pandediam, you can eat it with um, semolinas, whatever you have it with, it goes. So that is it guys for this recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.